So for our quick shortcuts that we're going to go over today, I like to utilize the power of right clicking. Um, depending on what you're right clicking on, you're going to have different options. So you'll see here that we are in our view map. If I right click on a folder, see I'm on a folder versus a saved view. I'm going to get these options to save the current view. So that's a quicker way of saving what's on your screen rather than coming down and finding the icon below. Right click, save current view. You can do the same thing, new folder, and that's going to put a new subfolder within the folder that you have clicked on. You can duplicate that folder, which is going to take all of these saved views and just duplicate them in another folder. Uh, we could rename that folder or we could delete that folder. Okay, deleting the folder, remember that deletes all of the saved views that are within that folder as well. Now, when we right click on a saved view itself, so I have right clicked on the first floor plan. When I right click on that, I have the option to open that view. I can create a new folder and it'll automatically put that view into the folder. We can rename. This is the one that I use probably the most when right clicking on saved views is redefine with current Windows settings. And this is going to do the same thing that we were going to do within our settings. It's going to grab the current settings of what you're viewing at that time and it's going to update that view. Thing to be careful of here is if I am redefining on the first floor plan, but I didn't notice I was on the second story, it's not going to update the name, but it is going to update to that saved view is now the second story, the second story floor plan. So just if you're doing that, really make sure that what you have on the screen is what you really wanted. If you accidentally do do that, um, I don't believe the undo button will undo that for you. Um, but all you would have to do is go through, reset your settings, and then redefine it again. We can delete that saved view. This is the second most used thing that I use right clicking on a view for is showing it as the trace reference. And that would be important if I am trying to align walls within the first story and the second story. Um, I could have the first story showing and the second story um, as my reference. And then you can see all the other different options. We can create a 3D document from the view that we had selected. If there's any linked markers with that view, we could go and find those markers. We can change story settings um, and we can change the settings of that saved view from right there as well. Another thing I really like to do, especially when I'm getting a um, file system, a folder system set up, I like to duplicate files in a very quick way. Um, so I showed you how you can right click and duplicate. I showed you how you can duplicate a folder within the view settings. But one thing that's really quick to do is if I were to click on this view right here, I click hold, like I'm going to drag that to a different location. On Mac, if you hold Option down as you're dragging, that automatically tells it to drag a copy of that instead of just moving it. I believe on Windows it's Control. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not I'm not an avid Windows user, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, but you're going to create a duplicate folder. It's going to or duplicate view with all of the same settings, all of the same views. It just makes a duplicate of that. Um, like I said, you do the same thing with folders or views. Um, the last thing that I find easy, and you'll, you'll find this more useful as you grow your project and get more and more saved views, is you'll quickly see that those saved views become a long list sometimes. And it can become tedious trying to look through and scroll through all of those um, options there, all of your saved views to try and find the one that you're looking for. 
um, and as you're expanding and expanding folders and subfolders and sub subfolders, the list gets long. So one thing that you can do to quickly collapse a folder, a subfolder, or your entire view map is if you hold Option and then click on any of the flyout triangles, it's going to automatically collapse every folder and subfolder that was that lives within this designated folder here this design legends so if i had all of these expanded um like currently here i have the, the design and the sketch and schematic expanded if i were to hold option and click on the triangle here it's going to automatically collapse all of those and it works in reverse as well if I have all of these um, retracted collapsed, but I suddenly want all of these folders and subfolders expanded, holding option and clicking that again is going to automatically expand all of those. And again, I believe Windows has the same option, um, but its button would be control.